Hello, Your Honor. Hello. This is a case of McCrae versus Moore. Moore. Thank you, Jerome. Good day, everyone. Good day. Good day. Mr. McCrae, you claim the defendant led you to believe you fathered her daughter, DeMiracle, for 10 months until she abruptly changed her tune and told you that you are not the dad. You are here to prove what you've always known, that DeMiracle is your baby. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Ms. Moore, you say you are positive the plaintiff is not your daughter's biological father. Your husband, Mr. Moore, is, and you plan to prove it today. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Mr. McCrae, you haven't seen your daughter in almost a year and a half? That makes you emotional just to see her, Mr. McCrae? I haven't seen her in three years. That's my world right now. That's all I've been thinking about. I can't have a good relationship with a female because that's all I think about. My focus is on her. She's so gorgeous. Yes, she is. And the more I look at her, she looks like me. I don't think so. Mr. McCray, until she was 10 months old, you were her... Father. Father. Yes, ma'am. Tell me about that. I changed her, I played with her, I fed her, and I just missed that. I want something that's my own. And she knew that. He did not change her. He never changed the no, baby? No, he did not son? change her because he was like, he's not going to change no girl. He did not change her. He didn't play with Were her. Were you all in a relationship wow. when, okay. when you got pregnant? No, we had broke up when I got pregnant. Your Honor, I beg to differ. I was at every doctor's appointment except for one. The one I missed because I had to work. But we walked Your Honor, that's a lie. No. When she was pregnant, because... <laughs> That's a lie. When I got pregnant, I told him I did not want him at the hospital or nothing. I told him I don't have nothing to do with him. I was been telling him, like, I worked late on purpose so I wouldn't be home with him. I don't understand this. You, you say you were avoiding Mr. McCray. Yeah. But he says he was very present. Was he at the hospital? He only was there one doctor's appointment. That was it. I told him I did not want him at the hospital. So, Mr. McCray, what was your understanding of this relationship? She said you broke up when she got pregnant. Were, did you feel like you were in a committed relationship? Yes, we were together for four years. Because, oh. And we met on Facebook. We decided to hook up. First two years, it was good and everything. Then after that, it started getting bad and all that other stuff, catching, cheating, and all that other stuff. I just had to let it go, because the last two years, he tried to be a father figure to me, telling me what I should and should not do. I cannot go here, I cannot go there. Her? And, like, one night I worked late, and he was like, where was you at? Hmm. I'm at work. Like, I'm with my client. So you started feeling suffocated in the relationship? Yes. Wow. All right. And so, in your mind, Mr. McCray, did you think this was a good relationship? Like she said, the first two years were amazing. I wanted to be with her for a long time, but we had our ups and downs. When Ms. Moore told you she was pregnant, what happened? Take me back to that day. When she was pregnant and she told me she was pregnant, I just looked, I just looked in shock, like, <gasps> what? Really? Well, were you having sex? Oh, yeah, man, were, you, were you using protection? Nah. Well, then why were you so shocked? Because <laughs> I was told I was able to have children. You were told you were not able to have children? Yes. Your Honor, okay. um, we did not have sex that much. We really didn't. Like, <laughs> I'm being honest, the four years we've been together, we probably had sex, like, three, four times, and that's it. Within... Oh. Yes. Okay, well, it only takes once. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> so, Mr. McCray, you're saying that's not true? Oh, that's not true. Because when she was pregnant, I was pregnant. <laughs> she was getting big, I was getting big. He didn't gain a pound. I... <laughs> she craved weird food, I craved weird food. Like, we made steak and peanut butter one day. I liked it. <laughs> I don't like it now. Wow, those are some cravings. So, yeah. Mr. McCray, you felt like you were in step right with Ms. Moore during this pregnancy. Yes, ma'am. I signed the birth certificate. Is that evidence you'd like to present? Yes, Jerome, let yes, me see that, please. Well, I told him not to do it, and he did it anyways after I said I did not want him Wait a minute. This is... Let me see what this is. This is a certificate of birth. Yes, he... Child's name, a miracle. Serenity, Serenity McCray. Father's name, Emmanuel Davis McCray. That's my name. Last my check. And so, you are the legal father listed on this birth certificate? Yes, you're on. At the time you signed this, did you, had a, you had no doubt you were the biological father? I had no doubt. So, Ms. Moore, why is his name listed as the legal father on her birth certificate if you say you knew he was not the biological because father? Because I was drugged up in the hospital, he had signed the papers. Well, wait 
a minute, he's at, why is he even at the hospital I told then? him not to come. He said only way he would leave if it's through a body bag or if the police officer come and get him. So I don't understand what's going on here. Now, you're in a relationship. During the window of time when the miracle was conceived, you were in a relationship with we Mr... Was, no, we was broken up. When Miracle was born, we was broken up. Not born, conceived. Conceived, yes. You were in a relationship with Mr. M- McCray. No, when she was conceived, we was broken up. The month of September, when I got pregnant, we was not together. So you told... You, you knew in your mind, you felt like you knew that Mr. McCray was not her biological father. Right. My husband is the father... This is interesting because Mr. McCray arrives at the hospital believing he's the biological father of a child. Yes. You sit there, you wait through the birth. Do you participate in the birth? Yes, I, I no, cut he the umbilical cord. You cut the umbilical cord. Yes. Cause I, yeah, he cut it, but he was sitting his, on his side. Well, wait a minute, Ms. Because... Moore. Now, hold on. Because I know... Uh, wait a minute. I've been a mother in a hospital. Now, if this is not your husband, you weren't married to him, right? And you say you didn't believe he was the biological father of this child. He said he wasn't leaving unless a body bag took him out or security. Right. Well, then why wouldn't you just call security? Because I was already drugged up. They had with epidural in me and everything, so I won't be able to remember anything because I was in so much pain. We were living together. But, but my point is, it sounds Don't like, live. to me, you allowed him to go through this process. You say your husband is this child's father. Why wasn't he at the hospital? Because it, he was what? going through some things what th- the? then and he couldn't really be there. If he w- been there, Emmanuel, w- Mr. McCray would not have been there. And so I Mr. was already McCray, irritated. When he irritated they were with living when? together. So when, when you went into labor and went to the hospital, you all were living together? You and Mr. McCray? Yes. Mm. At what point did you even have a clue that this now husband was a potential biological father? I had no clue till I left Akron, Ohio. Because... He left Akron, Ohio because I put him out and was tired of him. And, but this and... was after the miracle was born. She was 10 months old when I left. No, she was three months. When she went to the hospital and she went to have the miracle, she was living in, in, with you. No, then I was living with her. I put him out. And you were ready for him to leave. Yes, and he because would not leave Because at that point, you all. said in your mind, this is not my child's father. Right. Okay, look at this photo submitted to the court. I mean, this is this beautiful baby, and it looks like she's Have doing the airplane with her daddy. And, and she and... threw up on me after that. <laughs> that is uh, definitely a consequence of the airplane that daddies <laughs> often learn. But it, this is a beautiful picture. Thank you. Now, Ms. Moore, at this time, when this picture was taken, and had you told Mr. McCray I... that the miracle was not his biological child? Yeah, I told him he still wasn't leaving. He, he said he had a bomb, but he just wanted to be with me, and I do not want to be with him. But how do you even get in? Right. My grandmother. So who took this picture? I don't know. Not me. <laughs> I didn't take it. <laughs> I don't know what it was. Like, it's just crazy how he just could hold a baby that's not his. Well, he thinks it is his because you all were in a relationship during the time when she was conceived and you all were in a relationship pretty much almost to the point she was born. Right. Now, here's another photo. I love that photo. Her cheeks are so fat. So, Ms. Moore... <sighs> How did he get with the miracle again? So, so again, somebody yeah, else let, let him, him play on this one, so Just he can get his. Too. Yeah, I did take this picture. I let him get in on this one right here, so he get his stuff, so he could leave. I ain't got nothing of mine. So you let him in the house to get his things. Yes. And but you also let him play with the baby. Yeah, cause he wanted to play, so I was like, go ahead. Like I don't, I really don't want him around her then neither, cause I already knew he wasn't a father. So, I already feel bad for doing this. What was the circumstances surrounding this picture? Do you remember Mr. McCray? How did you get in the house? I was living there. No, he was already out. Did you live in the home during the time after the miracle was born? Yes. You lived in the home with her? Yes. No. How old was the miracle when you got kicked out of the house? She was 10 months old. After she kicked me out, she moved the, the other guy in. The day of, she kicked me out. Not the very next day, and the other guy is my husband, and I knew since I was five years old. Well, I've never seen his face until I got kicked out. Well, I want to see his face now. Jerome, I want to hear from this husband. Okay. Can you please escort him into the courtroom? Sure. Hello, sir. Come on. Have you go stand next mm. to your wife. No. Go ahead and move on the other side of her. Thank you for joining us today. Mr. Moore, do you believe... The miracle is your daughter? Of course, Your Honor. 
mean, you can just look at it. I mean, y'all, ain't nobody blind. You know, no offense. So, during the time the miracle was conceived, you were aware that she was also in a relationship with Mr. McCray. Yeah, they was living together. That's That, that was their thing. But what... I, exactly, <laughs> my point. So, we're trying to figure out if their thing mm -hmm. produced this beautiful baby. That's what we're trying to figure out. Were you in a relationship with Ms. Moore at the same time? We had a friend. But you were having sex. So, you're saying you were mm -hmm. also intimate with her during the window of she the time that... The miracle was conceived. That's a nasty. possibility. Actually, me and Jamal actually were seeing somebody else. And when we was like being friends or whatever, I was not with McCray when me and him was hooking up. So your now husband was seeing somebody else right. at well, the time. That's nasty. But it wasn't, it wasn't like that. Like he was going through his thing, I was going through my thing. So our relationships wasn't good at the time. He broke up with the other girl. Right. And then you all resumed... We, we start... Resumed our... Rela our Kindle, our relationship back. And it is your testimony that it's during that five. window of time when the miracle was conceived. Right. How old was the miracle when Mr. Moore... When your husband broke up with the other girl? Three months. So at that point... Did you bring him into her life? Like, did you say at three months old? Yes. But then Mr. McCray was still living in the house with you until she was 10 months old. Yeah, and then I put him out. Like, I kept putting him out. He kept coming back. Like, he would not leave. Look, if you think a child is your biological child, you would be saying, I'm not leaving even my child my, either. Even if my daughter was not there, he would still came. So... At that point, when you got put out, did you have all your things? Nope. I had nothing. I had to come back with stuff. Actually, uh... came, knocked on my door, and got his things. That I didn't want. The TV And I gave it to her, and she stopped me herself, and she was like, yeah, that baby is your husband's. Okay. So, Mr. McCray, did your family ever come and tell you, we don't think that's your baby? Yes. Okay. Yes, Your Honor. But that did not sway your belief. Because I know for a fact. I know... I know. Everyone was telling me, people that, people that didn't know me, that people that did know me. I'm like, I don't care what y'all think, because y'all wasn't there when I was there. You don't know what I was going through. So I'm going to believe what I believe. I mean, when you cut a child's umbilical cord, when you are there, the birth of a child, and you think that child is yours, you formed a bond. Whether anybody likes it or not, right. you formed a bond. Because when the baby was born, I looked, and was like, the baby came out of that? And that's all it wrote. That's all she wrote. Under the law, with your name listed on her birth certificate, you are the legal father. Yes, I which have means legal rights. you have legal rights to see her. You have a legal obligation to mm -hmm. provide for her financially. You b came here and brought this case today to prove you are her biological father, which really can put your entire standing in jeopardy. Because if it's determined today that you are not her biological father, you then leave room for Mr. and Ms. Moore to go to court and have you removed as legal father. Yes, ma'am. But it's important to you to have it established that you are also her biological father. That's why you're here today. Yes. Mr. Moore, what would you like to add? If I write my name, okay, my biological name on a certificate, now, mind you, you said it's supposed to be a mutual agreement, right? I wake up from being on anesthesia, and then I see a whole another man's name, aside from just the fact that the last name that I want her to have of mine, on this piece of paper. Let me say this, Mr. Moore, and it's your wife, and you love her, and I'm glad y'all in a relationship. Okay. But, Ms. Moore, you're not fooling me. I don't know where you were, but I know you were in a relationship when this baby was born. I've been a woman too long. Since... You have not cut the cord on your relationship. She let him cut the cord on the baby. Mm -hmm. And that's really what happened here. Mm -hmm. What was going on is she wasn't sure you were gonna leave that woman. Come on. And so... I, sent, I, and oh, hold on. She on. wasn't sure. Mm -hmm. And until she was sure, she led him to the water and let him keep drinking. Mm -hmm. This is clear as day from oh, this seat. Okay. And so, at this point, all we have left to get down to the bottom of this are the results. Jerome, I'm ready for the envelope. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics and they read as follows. In the case of McCray versus Moore, Moore, pertaining to whether Mr. McCray or Mr. Moore 
is the father of two-year-old DeMiracle McCray. It has been determined by this court. The biological father is Mr. Moore. Mm -hmm. He is the biological father. Yes, ma'am. Can you accept that? I can accept it. It hurts. I know. I gotta move on. She's still pretty to me. She, of course she is. Because I was in foster care. I didn't know my father. I don't even know my dad. He walked in this room right now. And for her to be confused and not knowing who her dad is, and me being there, getting that bond with her, it, it brought a smile to my face. As you move forward, you all also have to... Get my name on the birth certificate. Find the legal resolution that will serve the miracle. So, Mr. McCray, I'm sorry this day did not go the way you had hoped. With this child, you broke a generational curse that affected you, where you said you had no father. You attempted to be present in this child's life so that curse would be broken, and that's a good thing. I wish you all the very best of luck. Take care of that beautiful baby. Court is adjourned.